everyone this is asmr today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial and today i'll show you how to make the logo this type of photography logo so i'll give the font and the other stuffs in my video description so if you want to download the font and other stuffs please check out my video description if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so let's start the tutorial at first i'm going to the file and take a new options and this one new that is the canvas 2560 and 1440 that is the pixels and resolution 200 pixel per inch and the color mode rgb and hit the create button after that just change the color into black and then go to the text tool and write down the k the letter k so I use the font that is the Rita and the capital K yeah that's good so press ctrl T and you can make it bigger okay now I'll just write down like circular and then I'll just finish the logo design so how to do that just uh, I'm just turning it off and going to the shapes and ellipse tools and draw a ellipse like that i just set the ellipse in the middle yeah that's fine and now here is the options the path selection tool and turn off the fill color give the stroke color that is the black the pixel will be yeah that's fine and then go to the paths option select double click over there and hit ok and then go to the text tool and just take here when you're getting the slash sign like that and just select once and now just decrease the font size and change the font size into next of bold and I'll write down Kamalu sign okay and then just uh, here is the character option if you want to get the character option over here go to the window and character options and from here I'll make it like this yeah that's fine and I'll increase the space between the two letters I'll make it like that and make all the capital yeah that's fine uh, Kamal sign that's done that means this one and now I'll write on the photography like that so here the path double click over here and hit ok go to the text tool and when you're getting the that sign write down start writing so photography okay but this one is uh, not like uh, this type of photography writing type so how to change it out yeah just zoom it in and go to the grid selection tool when you are getting the double arrow over there so you can just make it like that yeah that's fine and now again character options and then just make it plus suppose this type of plus okay that's fine zoom out and when you are using this one like photography is 8 pt and the kamalo sign that is the 16 pt minus 16 the double of that uh, that means uh, 8 and 16 that's the ratio to make it out and it will get the proper alignment or proper just space from the circle so we don't need this one just deleting this one and now turn on the k options and make it bigger so and place it like this so that's good and now just select double click here and just hyphen and another hyphen and photography here in a p before p and after y i'll give the hyphen yeah and then select these three things make it group and give the name logo and i'll just align it in a middle and i'll give up photographs behind the logo 
so i think this one is good and go to the solid color and give the color like that or you can use color or like that okay now i'll give the color like select these three things go to the character and change the color mode into white yeah that's good and now the solid color opacity i'll make it down yeah if you need you can make it bigger yeah that's fine so you're getting this type of logo but how to export this one let's see how to export just turn off all the things you're getting like this that means this one the boxes background that means the transparent background just go to the file and save as options and just give the name logo and change the format into png and hit ok you will get a png format that is the transparent background in your just this logo so how to place on your photography let's see open up image like this one this one suppose this one is your photography and go to the file and place edit options here you got the transparent background yeah you can use it in the corner of the photography if you need you can change the opacity like that so you can move it if you need you can use it on any corner or anywhere so i think learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you need the download fonts and other stuffs please check out my video description don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and until the next video i may say when signing out today bye bye